The arrival of icebergs ushers in spring and tourists. So, like, the tourism is a great boost to Newfoundland, right, to, to all the little outports and, and the city, too. When this unusual chunk of ice broke off, it rubbed against a valley and took part of Greenland with it. Icebergs always came over the years, so, like, you know, like, it makes you wonder, you know, like, it, will they ever stop? That's what Memorial University glaciologist Lev Tarasov is trying to figure out. We'll keep seeing them, that there'll be less of them. By the end of the century, we're going to have less icebergs coming from Greenland. Tarasov is the sole Canadian on an international team of scientists, estimating a time frame in which these changes could happen. From boring down into the layers of icebergs, it's clear that from the mid-1900s to the turn of the century, there was no change in melt patterns. Then, around the turn of the century, we started seeing much bigger, we started seeing clear changes. Right now, when chunks calve off the Greenland glacier, they fall into the ocean and become icebergs. But when the glacier retreats from the sea and onto land, those ice chunks will end up melting on land. All they can do is melt. They can't form icebergs anymore because they're not in the water. All this melt is directly tied to rising sea levels globally. And that's something else this research is hoping to predict a time frame for how much sea levels will rise and by when. The flood levels have, have been rising. The That's of crucial interest the for Joe DeRio. We have a lot of coastal towns in, in Newfoundland and Labrador. DeRio is training engineers with the provincial government to incorporate climate change into how they design public infrastructure. So knowing when something might happen is a bonus for planning purposes. How do we design uh, a bridge crossing, a culvert, to carry the largest possible flow. If we have a design life, 50 years, 50 years the climate's going to be very, very different. The, the likelihood of the extreme event or the high flood can be very different. Some of this ice took 100,000 years to form. Because of climate change, experts say, within our children's lifetimes, it could disappear entirely. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, Bonavista, Newfoundland.